hello everyone today I am going to show you uh, how to read and uh, write files in the in your in, in your applications files are very important you know you can just previously we've done NS user defaults we have done uh, plist in future you will also do SQL and in the next coming few tutorials we'll be doing SQL NS archiver and core data but today I'm going to just show you how to how to actually write a text file so let me start with the project first and uh, that's a view based application and I will call it file based and I will save it now your applications files are saved somewhere now where are these files saved uh, let's look at um, let me run it once because it will create the app file inside the simulator only once you run the application at least once I've not done anything yet but I'll still run the application and once you run the application you'll see that the application installed on the phone so once it's installed I can go to my doc my folder and inside that can go to library inside library I can go to application support inside application support there's iPhone simulator and it simulator will have different simulators I'll go to 4.3 three applications and this is the only application that is installed in the iPhone simulator so I would guess that is the one but you can look at the name of the app and say that in this one the documents the files that are saved are in documents directory now how do we get access of the document directory suppose I want to save something in the document directory so how do I get access to it let's go to view did load so if I want to save something in document directory first I need to get the path for that and that path you can get as a list of different arrays to a path by calling a function called as ns search path for directories in domain and you have to give the first argument is the directory so what is the directory and that directory is ns doc document uh, ns document directory and that is this and then you have to give the domain mask and a search path domain mask this is the pretty much the user domain mask so you will say an is sir domain mask this is where uh, this is the actual path of and then you, it says expand tilde yes so this is how you get the different paths for the document directory now you want to get the first document over there so for that you would say ns path for the first one so I'll say ns strings and I will say documents directory and what am I looking for I'm looking for paths object at index in an array and I want the first one so I'll say object at index 0 so once I have that now next I need to look for the file that I am going to make so suppose I say test file equal to inside document directory string by appending format mm, string by appending actually path component that is and the name of the file is text dot say text so that is the file that I'm looking for now I want to check if the file exists so the easiest way to do is I'll say bool file exists equal to ns file manager file manager keeps track of files will so say default manager get access to the file manager and file exists at path and we already have path that's the test file so if I run it first time it will say the file doesn't exist so let's write some file exists if file exists then I will just log saying file exists so this is you have the access to the file now you can do whatever you want over here so this is how you read the actual file that we get now if the app if the file is not present then what then this is important uh, we need to write the file so uh, let me just say ns log create file so we'll run it 
two times this code and see if it actually runs so first time it will create an one and second time it will since it's already created it will say file exists but how do you create the file suppose i want to add some data to it so writing some data so let's say i want it to, in the format and as data star data equal to uh, what do we want to write suppose i want to write in the entire google web page so i can just send this data data with contents of url ns url url with string i'll just use my website suppose i want to write contents of my website into it do this so i have the entire contents of my website inside data now i want to write it into the file so there is a function called as write to file okay which file do you want to write it we have that file name about test file atomically yes so that's how you file write things to your folder so sub if you look here we don't have anything inside the documents let's go ahead and run this application this is the only code that you need to write that's all to it so if i run the application it runs it if you look at here it says create a file since it's the file doesn't exist it creates the file and probably it puts all the code inside it let's go ahead and check it check that out documents let's go ahead applications and there we go there's the text file let me open it if i say open it will open with probably text edit yeah there you go with my entire website in it it doesn't draw the html because i didn't get the images yet but there we go that's how it looks like now if i run this code again so it should say file exists and there we go we have file exists uh, so because the file exists it says file exists we checked it using the boolean so that's that's all about files there is two uh, if you want to look more into it there is an s file manager you can look into and thanks for watching the video if you have any questions you can write them in the comments um, and next we'll look at ns archiver in the next video thanks for watching and uh, keep subscribing